Good morning, guys. How are you all today? Tomorrow is the first day of spring, and um, we ordered some seeds from Baker Creek, and they came in, and I was going to um, unbox them with you here and let you see what we have new this year that hopefully actually grows. And this catalog is not this year's. I am still waiting for it in the mail, but I didn't want to wait any longer. So I went ahead and ordered, actually that catalog is from 2022. And those are very pretty sunflowers on that catalog. Okay, let's see what we have new this year. Okay, these are the Huckleberry Golds. Um, they're potatoes. I'm sorry, can you see that? They are supposed to be um, low glycemic index for diabetics. So, <laughs> excuse Athena, she's bored. So, um, anyway, I have those. I can't find the page they're on in this catalog. I was going to show you what they look like. Well, maybe if I find it later, I will show you. But Okay, so we have those. And I haven't grown regular sized potatoes before. And so that is new for me this year. It has 10 microtubers in there. So any of you have experience growing these Huckleberry Gold potatoes or any other ones, let me know in the comments. Give me any tips or advice you have, or I'll show you what they look like. Aren't they cute? They're almost like a dark purple. So there's Ten of those in the package. Okay, let's see what else we have in here. And that is a, a thank you card. Excuse the noise. Cindy Lou's rolling around vacuuming. I'm excited about these Cherokee purple tomatoes. I um, never grown these before. I don't know anybody that grows these. There's a small amount of seeds down there. It says minimum 25 seeds. And these were 350. I'm not sure how much the Huckleberry Gold was. I think they were kind of expensive. Well, to me they were. But um, yeah, you have to look up the price for the potatoes there. And these are really cool looking tomato queen of the night and you get 10 seeds for 350 which is also very expensive but I wanted to do some purpley colored things this year some new things um, these I've never grown before either they're spoon tomatoes Um, oh, that's free for ordering. That was nice. So I haven't, I haven't grown those before either. Okay, it says to start indoors six to ten weeks before last frost. So looks like I'll be starting those indoors. Um, these are another new tomato. For me, they're called Dad Sunset. I thought that was that was pretty cool. And my dad, he has a, he's had a garden for years. Like when I was two years old, he had a garden, so I always helped in the garden. But um, I like to do different things, raise different things, and uh, share them with him. Also, he's. Um, 
older now, of course, but he still, he still grows a garden. So that is great. So this is a orange tomato. It says large 10 ounce fruit, very smooth, uniform, and keeps very well. And that one says start indoors also. Okay. All right. And that's our receipt. Okay. Now I grew these last year, but I'm not sure if this is the same type of pepper that I grew last year. Purple Beauty. So, um, it says large four inch black fruit that ripen to deep purple. Flavorful, crisp, and juicy with a thick wall. So, that, that is, that is great. I mean, it might be the same. I grew purple peppers last year, but I don't remember what kind they were, but they did really well. And the, the purple peppers that I grew last year, when you saute them or cook them, they turn like translucent, sort of like an onion. So... That was amazing to me that, that, that they lose their color, unfortunately, when you cook them, but nonetheless, they do. So, um, the potato tubers, the huckleberry gold that I ordered here, these that have a low glycemic index for diabetics, yeah, they were $17, so that was expensive. But I'm trying to do some new things this year. And drop in the comments below if you guys have any tips or advice for me on growing potatoes. I was thinking about growing them in a big cardboard box in the, in the garden. So I saw a video on that. If any of you do it that way, let me know how it goes for you. If not, whatever way you do it. I would appreciate your input. So, thank you all for um, joining me for this video. Like, share, and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what new things you're growing this year or what you would like to grow this year in your garden. And tomorrow is the first day of spring. So, everybody start getting ready for warmer weather and i will talk to you all later thanks have a good day bye now